Right, now we're going to show you about selective breeding. It's something the human race has been doing for centuries, trying to make animals bigger and crops more productive. But what we want to do is breed the perfect Punk Science audience member. Punk Science, make you know it all! Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by isolating some preferred, favourable traits for that perfect audience member. OK, hello audience! Hello! Who amongst you lovely people thinks they have <gasps> very good bladder control. Ah, uh, yes, so you can drink pints and pints of water and you don't need to go to the toilet for hours on end, enabling you to sit and watch lengthy, drawn-out, uninformative science shows. Brilliant. Well, let's have... Is that Tom? We'll have you, sir. Yes. Another positive trait for a punk science audience member, we're looking for somebody with a very, very advanced sense of fun. John, pull a face. OK, see, John's pulling a face. Pull the face for them there, John. Yeah. She laughed at John's face. Let's have that lady there, please. Round of applause for her. What do you do? You come over here and stand next to your husband. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. We've got our original breeding pair. We're going to breed for these selective traits here. Tom has amazing bladder control, and Sarah has a great sense of fun. If we breed these two, one of their offspring could have both these desirable traits. So, let's fast forward through the years. You're now in your 50s, so are you. You've got loads of kids. Here they are. You, you, you and you. Stand up, please, you four. Say hello to your mum and dad. Hi. Hello. What did you call your first daughter? No pressure. Jemima. Jemima. Good choice of name. Jemima, let's have a look at you. Oh, oh dear, you don't seem to have inherited your mother's sense of fun, because you're quite miserable, aren't you? Yes, yes, you are. Do, do the face. You've got to play along with it. Miserable. Oh dear, oh dear. And also, sadly for us, you don't seem to have inherited your father's strong bladder control. In fact, you're possibly leaking all the time. John, uh, give, her, give her a prop. Could you hold this, please, to demonstrate that you have unfortunately... Uh, maybe on the head, perhaps, you could go, yes. So that, that's, that's a nappy. <laughs> Tom and Sarah produce four children. Poor Jemima has no sense of fun and a weak bladder. Gertrude has a sense of fun but bad bladder control. Gretchen has no sense of fun but great bladder control. Amy Lynn has a great sense of fun and great bladder control. We've managed to combine those two traits. OK, we're going to find a perfect mate for you with maybe with another desirable trait. And what do we have here? It's you. Stand up, please. Yes. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name, sir or madam? Alex. Alex. OK, Alex. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but Alex has enormous hands. Show him your hands, Alex. Show him. Don't disagree with me. Oh, don't hit me. And now, you may be wondering why enormous hands is a positive trait. Well, basically, it means you can volunteer easily and applaud particularly loudly. Next, we breed Amy Lynn, who has the two positive traits of great sense of fun and great bladder control, with Alex, who has huge hands. Over several generations, spanning 300 years, we arrive at Pablo, who has the perfect combination of these three traits. So, we have finally selectively bred, after 300 years, our Punk Science Perfect Audience member. Now, we're going to talk about the possibility of genetic modification. Yes. Punk Science, make you know it all! Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, Pablo, uh, we have here, for your viewing pleasure, a lovely, beautiful example of that wonderful creature, the gecko. Can we see a gecko, please? This is a gecko, a Menorcan-dwelling lizard. Now, you may be wondering, Pablo, why I'm showing you a gecko. Well, the thing with selective breeding, you can only breed for traits that already exist within the species, in this case, you, OK? But with genetic modification, you can take genes from anything from fruit flies, from sweet corn, from tomatoes, even from lizards. Pablo's three desirable traits of large hands, great sense of fun and good bladder control could be spliced with the gecko's ability to climb walls to create the ultimate punk science audience member. Uh, if you look around the normal punk science show, you'll see most of the audience members are sat on the floor. OK? Now, we'd like to cram more people in. And to be honest, there's lots of wasted space on the walls. So, if they had your incredible sticking to the wall climbing ability, we could have even more people in a punk science audience. Everybody, wave to the future of the audience. Hello. Hello. Enjoying the show? Yeah. And that is the power of selective breeding and genetic modification.